Hey golf people, we're just getting to the club today and we're gonna test out a set of clubs that I bought for $400. And the best part about it is they were made right here in my backyard. So I had a number of comments on the channel to check out a company called Giga Golf. So I Googled Giga Golf and found out they're literally 15 miles from my doorstep. So I had to go give them a visit. And I saw an operation where they are making and assembling clubs right here in Tampa Bay, super cool. So I went ahead and purchased a set. I was able to customize them to my liking. I'll tell you all about those specs here in just a second. And I literally went to their door to pick these things up. Then I took a little peek inside. We saw how they make these clubs. And it's amazing to know that golf clubs are being made right here in my hometown. Taking a look at these things, these are super clean and they remind me so much of my Tacoma 101s. But the price is even better. I was able to score my set for just about $400, but they start at $376 if you go five through pitching wedge. So an exceptional value and the customization options they had allowed me to set these up exactly how I wanted them. So I've got them one degree upright. I've got a feather light, true temper, 105 gram stiff shaft on these, medium sized grips, and I actually made them a quarter inch longer. So I am so stoked to check these things out. Literally a $400 set of clubs and they seem to me just as good as anything out there on the market that's double and even triple the price. We are heading out to the Pine Nine here at Carrollwood. We're gonna play nine holes and our over under is gonna be level par. So just hitting these clubs out on the range so far, they really look like they're going to perform. They look really pure at a dress, but I really like the way they sound and the way they feel leaving the club face. This is a par five here. I'm just gonna lay up with a four iron, hopefully get us into wedge range. Here's a good look at that four iron. You can see a fair amount of bounce there, a fair amount of offset there to the club as well, but just a beautiful kind of hollow body blade look to it, but a hollow body design. That's right down Broadway. And I would say that was a decent strike, but certainly not my best. Got up in the air real nice there. Let's go hit a wedge shot and hopefully get tight here on this par five. After a pretty nice four iron there, I'm left with 96 yards. I'm gonna go pitching wedge here. Normally it'd be like a gap wedge, but I'm gonna take a nice smooth swing. By the way, pitching wedge at 43 degrees, seven iron in this set at 31 degrees. So while the lofts are stronger than your traditional lofts, they're not crazy loft jacked either. Gotta go a little bit. I took a little too easy of a swing there though. And uh, we're gonna have a chip and a putt. That was a little bit of a mistake on my part. All right, we're stepping up to a shorter par four here. This is about 350 yards from the tees I'm playing. There's a little wind in my face, but what I'm gonna do here is go four iron just to see how this thing feels, see how it gets up in the air and just see how far it flies. Oh yeah, real good strike, really nice shot shape and the feel of these clubs, exceptional. Really love the sound and feel. I think this thing really excels there. Now I've got 181 yards to the hole there. We're gonna try to swing just a little bit harder. I'm gonna take the five iron here and see if we can knock one tight. Boy, it gets up in the air nice. That is right on line. And I think it's right up there, guys. Hit right in the middle of the green bounced forward that pins in the back we'll see where that thing landed but felt really good well guys walking up to the ball here i'm actually long i am probably hmm good eight yards long so we hit that 193 with a five iron that's plenty of distance i did get a nice bounce forward these greens a little harder and firmer than they've been in the summer now that it's getting into fall They've mowed it a little tighter and they're just a little firmer. That's actually my pitch mark right here. So we didn't get a ton of checkup, but again, that was a five iron as well in a little firmer conditions. Let's see if we can roll a putt in here. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna complain about an iron only par there, guys. We're going to some tight holes here and really the teeth of this nine. Let's see how these things do out here. All right, after a drive right in the middle of the fairway, we've got 165. Now I've got a bunker short, so I'd rather be a little long here. And while I think I can get there with the seven, I'm just gonna take a nice smooth six, aim for the kind of the middle of the green, maybe even try to fade this just a little bit. I think that's the right play here on this hole. Let's see how they're workable these clubs are. So I did get a nice little fade there, but I hit that a little bit towards the toe and I just did not quite get the distance, but I gotta say it was right on line. In terms of workability, I think again, a club like this, it's gonna be good, not great, but definitely better than I probably would expect from this category of club. So if we talk about mishit forgiveness, I'm pretty excited about that right there. It was literally dead on dead on line just about 15 yards short there because i hit that off the toe fight fight pretty good we got a chance turn oh turned late that's a little bit of a shame after that drive that was such a good drive so we surrender a stroke here we're going to another really tight hole another chance hopefully put like a mid iron in our hands here and see if we can get one tight. All right, guys, well, after one of the best drives I've had on here in a long time, I've got 150 yards and I've got an eight iron in my hands. Let's see if we get there. Plenty of distance. And again, I don't think that was the best of strikes. As I pulled the club back, it kind of snagged. And boy, I wish I could stop my swing, but I'm never able to do that. But we hit the middle of the green here. We got a birdie putt. The forgiveness I'm getting out of these clubs is really surprising. That's exactly pin high. I had, if anything, a little wind into me, but probably more of a crosswind. But really good distance there. I've got a pretty good crack uphill at birdie. Let's see if we can drain one. Oh, you gotta hit it. Guys, you gotta hit the putts to make them. And I didn't do it right there. All right, well, this par three is going to play long today. Tee boxes are back a little bit and the pin is way back there as well. We've got 181 to the flag. I'm gonna go with that five iron. I think that this thing could be magical. So one thing I like about these clubs is you don't see the back of them at all at address, even up to the four and five iron here. There's no look down at the back, which is really nice. Because the pin's on the right side of the green here, I'm gonna to try to set up for that fade again. Just see if we can test again the workability of these things. Again, they get up really nice in the air. And in terms of workability, there is a little bit there, but not a ton. And again, that's the trade-off. The more forgiving they are, the less you're gonna be able to move them left and right. If I was gonna rate these on a scale of one to 10, in terms of workability, I'd put it probably at like a four, honestly. But again, in terms of forgiveness, I think they're up more like an eight or nine. So that's the balance point. So I don't know if the wind shifted on me, but I'm looking at this flag and now the wind is blowing kind of against us. I did not feel that back there. The wind's kind of been swirling today and that always makes for some tough conditions. So we've got a long putt here. Again, fade swing. And as you can see the flag here moving against us, I did not see that again when I hit the shot. So we're just on the apron here. Let's make a good putt and hopefully walk away with a par. Okay, I'll take a two putt there. I don't know if you saw that, but the, this is right on a shelf and that really came to a screeching halt that first putt. Well guys, I'm feeling good here all of a sudden with these clubs and uh, I really feel like we've got a birdie in us. We've got four more holes to do it. This first one is technically the hardest hole on the course, but as long as I get a good drive, we should have like a seven iron in our hands. Now that was a really good drive, guys. And we're gonna have maybe an eight iron in our hands. Let's see. 122, Woo. pins in the front. So I'd rather be a little bit long here, even though I probably could get there with the pitching wedge. I think I'd like to test this nine iron out. So we're gonna go with that. Well guys, coming off that lie, I did leave it out there to the left just a little bit, but we have another birdie putt. So I cannot complain at the way these clubs are performing right now. We're hitting greens in regulation and the ones we're missing, it's really just due to some poor strikes from me. Now, the one thing I will say about these clubs is I'm not getting super height or super stopping power out of them so far. I can't say I've hit any really flush, to be quite honest with you. 
and again testament to the forgiveness of these things but I would say in terms of spin we'll have to check it on the launch monitor but I'd say it might be towards the lower end in terms of spin these clubs. So again, guys, feeling really good about the forgiveness here, and I'm really feeling good about how I'm starting to swing these clubs, really starting to gel with them all of a sudden. Now we've got what I think are a couple of easy birdie holes ahead of us, at least opportunities. Let's see if we can convert. We're gonna be playing this one just out of the first cut, just missed the fairway here, but just checked it with my rangefinder. We've got 148 wind back in our face here. I'm gonna go seven iron here, because again, I do not want to be in a bunker, do not want to come up short. I'd rather be just a little long here. Well guys, came out of the rough there pretty good, but it also turned my club just a little bit. This grass has been really thick this summer. We did make the green, and kind of like I thought, I did get past the hole there just a little bit. We got up onto the second level. Of course, as I see this pin, it's right on the hill, so it's not going to be an easy putt. But you can see, Pretty good strike there. We're gonna have actually a little bit better birdie putt than the last one. We've probably got about 18 feet here. We're due to roll something in. <laughs> but I gotta be careful here, because if we miss, we could come right down this hill. Tentative again, tentative again. I just, just did not wanna run that eight feet pass, which could have easily done, but Got to get the ball to the hole if they're going to go in, guys. Playing just boring, steady, eddy par golf here, guys. It's time to really light up the fireworks. We've got 145 yards here to this short par three. A little longer, actually, than it normally is. But we're going to go eight iron here. I've got to attack. I really hope we can put one tight. That's tracking. I think I'm a little short, honestly. I just didn't quite catch it all. But we're definitely gonna have a pretty good crack at birdie. I don't think it's a hole in one, but we'll have to go up there and find out. So yeah, of course I made the joke that it's boring par golf, but I'm sure a lot of us love to play par golf and I'm really <laughs> enjoying the scoring I'm doing and hitting a lot of greens here all of a sudden. Now that I've really got these clubs dialed in, I still don't think I've hit them really purely myself. The swings just have been off just a tiny bit, but these clubs have made up for it. We're getting the distance out of them and we're getting certainly the direction out of them as well. So no complaints with these Giga Golf Clubs. The fact that you can play a set of golf clubs for somewhere between $376 and $420 or so and still play good golf, that's pretty awesome. Well guys, it wasn't an ace, but as you can see, it was tracking, it was right on line. If I really hit that, I think we would have had a chance. Let's see if we can roll a birdie in before this day's done. I thought we finally had it. Straightened up. Finally got one to the hole. I thought that was in, but it just straightened up there. Boy. All right, well, we're heading to our last hole here. We're only one over. So really, really solid golf being played right now. The third shot here is gonna be over water. Let's see if we can do this. Well, guys, if I could somehow birdie this hole, it would tie for our best round ever around here. That's going to show you just how good these clubs are performing. Now, if you want to know who I think these clubs are best suited for, let me hit this drive and I'll tell you. Well, guys, who do I think these clubs are best suited to? I would say it's a wide range of golfers. A guy like me, around five, and I think after five, you probably want it to be a little bit more workable and you probably don't need any more distance than you're getting. But I would say anyone from five all the way up to 15, certainly, but maybe even to 20, these clubs are that forgiving that I think your higher mid handicaps could really benefit from the forgiveness of these things. Absolutely incredible. I really love them. And not the only golf clubs by a long shot that Giga Golf produces here in Tampa. Guys, I'm gonna hit a nice little seven iron, get us into position, have a wedge in our hand for that third shot onto this island green. We need a birdie. Perfect. All right, guys, 116, but that is a sucker pin short and left. 
I do not want to go straight at that with a pitching wedge, which I normally would hit. So I'm going to go nine iron. We do have some wind in the face too. I'm really hoping for middle of the green here, guys. And the wind may push it back towards the left and there's a little hill that we could catch as well. All right, middle of the green. We got a putt at it. We've hit a lot of greens today. Six greens, seven greens. You tell me down below. Let me know if you consider a direct-to-consumer brand. I'd love to know that too. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you've enjoyed this video because I've got a lot more on-course tests like this. Let's make a putt here, guys. Even par would be something. That couldn't be any more middle of the green. It's exactly what I wanted to do. We've got another about 18-footer here for birdie. As you can see, I really couldn't attack this. It would have been kind of a dumb move. Sucker pin. This putt's makeable. Let's do it. Wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be. But I'm pretty pumped about these clubs, guys. Check them out. I've got a link down below. I don't make anything from it, but I want to support a local business doing something awesome in this region. So glad to know they're in my backyard. I hope you'll check them out. Tell them Gabe sent you. Here's another set of clubs that you've got to consider if you're considering these. And I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.